This is a first time reaction to some guy in New York City using martial arts to thwart an attempted kidnapping in New York City. Hello. Hey, how you doing everybody? This is Matt Crisquolo coming to you up close and personal. Uh, hey, listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing so. That would be very nice. If not, thank you for w welcome back if you've been here before. So we're going to do a reaction. Uh, this is something in New York City. Uh, in New York City, you never know what you're going to get. If you're not from New York, uh, New York has so many great things to offer, by the way. I'm sure you've heard already. It's really a, a wonderful city, but uh, it also offers kidnapping, so you have to be careful. And uh, just in case that happens, you want to make sure that someone's there who knows how to do martial arts. So let's get right to this and see what's going on with this. Well, a martial arts expert became an unexpected hero when he stepped in to stop an attempted kidnapping in Manhattan. It happened in Madison Square Park when an emotionally disturbed man tried to take a stroller with a baby inside. I would as news reporter Lauren Glassberg has a story. Madison Square Park is a bit of an oasis in the site of a popular playground. But on Monday, November 9th, in the afternoon, a mother's worst fears. Saw this man play tug of war with a baby stroller, um, telling everyone it was his baby. Brian Kemsley was in the park with his girlfriend and stood back as others tried to pry the man from the stroller. Once they peeled his hand off the stroller, the mom could make a break for it and ran off. And the two men were still holding on to his arms and he was able to kind of shake him off and break free. It was around then that I was like, oh, this is not gonna go well right now. In this video, you can see Brian in shorts. He uses a move called a rear naked choke. I just used that just to bring him down. And once I got him down, um, I transitioned into a seatbelt grip and wrapped my legs around him. You see, Brian is a professional fighter. Brian Kimsley! Oh, Muay Thai is his specialty, but the 33-year-old didn't want to hurt the suspect, just subdue him. Priority should always be to de-escalate a situation. It, was, it should always be to keep everybody safe, not to hurt people. After about nine minutes, Park Police handcuffed the man who was ultimately transported to Bellevue Hospital. There was a point where I felt like by holding on to this guy, I wasn't just, you know, keeping him away from a mom and baby, but it was actually to help him too. That grateful mom returned to the scene to thank Brian, who says he did what any New Yorker would have done, but some would say Brian did so with grace and a sense of humanity. Well, you know, this speaks to a lot of different things. This is a uh, this is this speaks to uh, you know martial arts. Uh, it speaks to uh, you know the good intention of some people to keep peace and order. Um, it, it speaks to uh, mental illness. You know what happens. You know in, in, when people have this mental illness, and in these these big cities, you definitely see it. It's, it's kind of sad, actually. I go to Manhattan quite often, actually, and I, I walk around with my wife, and I see the mental illness uh, a lot. Every, every block, you can see someone, or, or you know, without exaggeration, there. In, in, in downtown Manhattan and stuff, you could walk around and see people, you know, that, that look like they've, you know, either done a little too much drugs and burned out some of the circuits in their brain or something went wrong. I, I, we, I don't really know. Actually, if you know a little bit about this uh, subject, you can mention it in the comments. It would be very helpful uh, as to why there is this, uh, you know, so much uh, prevalent uh, mental illness. Is it something that sometimes that uh, people are, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming some people are born with it and they cannot function in society. Society, and so therefore they end up just sometimes if they don't have family or someone to take care of them they end up uh, you know roaming the streets maybe some people actually do the dr drugs or alcohol and end up uh, you know ruining their brain and, and some other functions that uh, lead to mental illness uh, you know who knows it's probably a variety of reasons but I wonder if there's one or two that are you know at the top of the list um, but, uh, you know, to see this guy who knows uh, how to do martial arts, I, I did study some martial arts myself um, in Connecticut. I, I studied martial arts with some pretty good guys. Um, I don't consider myself very good at all, actually, but uh, I did it uh, for, uh, you know, health purposes and, and also to learn a couple of moves. So don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I'll take you down. I'll put you in a seatbelt hold. That's what the guy put him in, a seatbelt hold or something like that, I guess. You know, he clamped him up pretty good. That guy wasn't going anywhere. <laughs>
He sat there probably for who knows how many minutes just sitting there locked up. That's embarrassing. But, um, hey, you know, it happens. It happens. I've gotten into my share of fights, too, when I was younger. For some reason, I thought that it was uh, normal, you know. But I, I grew up in the uh, early 80s, you know, and, and basically in the 80s in school. And, you know, I, you know after school, 3 p.m., I'll see you after school, 3 p.m. by the playground. Be there, all right? We're going we're gonna to settle this. And all the kids come there, and everybody's watching. And then it's, yeah, you know, it's... It's pretty rough, but at any rate, uh, you know, I'm not a thug or anything like that, but I've gotten into my share of uh, scuffles. Uh, not anymore, thankfully. I value my nose. I like my lips, my fingers. I like to keep, make sure they don't get broken. <laughs> and there's so many civilized ways to take care of uh, conflicts other than getting into a fight. But, you know, this kid uh, who did the martial arts, he knew what he was doing. Good for him. Very interesting. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know. I thought I would just throw this in the mix to see what you guys think, if you like this kind of stuff or not. Anyway, hey, look, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy, take it twice.